Hello everyone, and we're back with more Danganronpa. BGM is magic. Big bump magic. Uh, leave the area? Yeah. Uh, we're going to go on an epic adventure through the school. I wonder where the heck, um... I wonder where the heck the store is. Maybe See, you know what I was wondering thing? is... Hmm? I might be completely wrong, but the way the rooms are laid out and it like being in vertical height, like if you look on the map, uh, I, I guess you can't look on the map now. Oh, yeah. Never mind. What the heck is this? Paper. There's some magazines lying around, probably to kill time while you're waiting for your laundry. To kill time. <laughs> I get it. I'm just gonna find out every time this game says kid. Yeah, fair enough. A vending machine. It's always nice to have a drink while your laundry gets done. Sure. I mean, Dude, I, like, I, I, I'm... like 10 feet away. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, it doesn't start an event if we talk to you, does what it? Do? I'm kind of scared. Are we really trapped here? Yes. Let's see, what about these things? A washing machine. Not surprising, this is a laundry room after all. So, in Japan, they don't have dryers? I guess not, because there's just a I feel like of... it would be really inefficient to hang them out inside, like, normally you hang out your closings outside. Yeah, yeah, they seem like they take forever to dry. Also, is all re everyone already doing laundry, or did this place just come with pre-hung clothing? <laughs> It, it looks nice that way. Yeah. Why is it now? Get extra clothing. <laughs> it's made out of We're cardboard, though. Yeah, <laughs> cardboard clothing. It's the cheapest clothing. Hi, fanfic. Hoi, remember me? The one and only Hifumo Yigmata. I guess you didn't. He actually he knew what that you did know his name, so he just <laughs> told you. <laughs> Thanks. Getting stuck in here is, like, totally disgusting. <sighs> I want to get out of here. I think we all See, do. That's, that was kind of a nonchalant way to respond to this. Yeah. It's disgusting. It's but disgusting. yeah, anyway, the, you see how, like, the room is, like, really elongated? Uh-huh. But when you're inside it, it feels like it's very wide. Right. I don't know, it just seems strange to me. Oh yeah, that is interesting. I think it has something to do with the red lights lining the, the rooms. No, no, I, I, I mean, even if you go inside your room, it's very wide. Oh, yeah. Like, like it's very sideways, not long. Hmm. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, like I this, it looks like it would be about three times as long as it is wide. But if you inside, when you're inside, you can go left and right, but you can't go back and forward, really. Right, right. Now I get what you're saying. Anyways, we have to talk to the coolest character in the game, obviously. Why? Why is Hope Peaks Academy like this? Very bizarre. You know what is bizarre? Do you want to, like, hang out or something? Why? No. I think you can okay. only hang out with the one guy, which kind of makes us the most fake free time ever. <laughs> yeah, I mean, maybe we'll have a little more, um, I I'm sure we'll have more freedom later, but yeah, I guess they probably want you to do as they suggested. Though, I have to say, probably when we get the option, I'm going to hang out with Kyoko, uh, as much as I can, because Kyoko's so far the best at everything in this can game. Can you go to the ghost bathroom, though? That's a good question. Is What's that a it? thing? Why are the signs so weird? How would I know which one is girl and which one is guy? Well, this one's red and kind of looks like it's wearing a dress. And this one's uh, black and looks like an arrow. I don't know why like dudes look like an arrow, but you can see this one's kind of wearing a dress. Okay. At least that's what it looks like to me. That I don't know. <laughs> Japan or whatever system this is a strange. <laughs> This is the girls' bathroom. Obviously, I can't go in there. What do you mean, obviously? You can try. But you look like a girl, so... <laughs> exactly. 
exactly. Well, we can go in the guy's bathroom now. Those are the cleanest school bathrooms I've ever seen. Yeah, well, I mean, it might be Despair High School, but it doesn't have to mean it has to be dirty. I mean, I, I, they should ask their neighbors <laughs> at Cops Party High School. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It's a fish tank. There's a bunch of little fish swimming around here. Yeah, I got a medal for the fish. I mean, Thanks, this fish. bathroom honestly makes it seem really nice and just cozy. I think yeah. you should move here. <laughs> move into the bathroom? It's the best room in this school so far. Yeah, it is. It is nice. Um, it even has I would... fishies. Yeah, exactly. I can't even say I've been to a bathroom with fish in it before. I feel like it would be very strange to have a bathroom with fish in them, but <laughs> then I don't know Japan. Fair Maybe enough. They eat sushi by being in the bathroom. I mean, there's been stranger things in Japan for sure. Uh, hey you. Everyone's working hard, trying to find an exit, are they not? <laughs> right, not really. Yeah, no, everyone's just kind of standing around and hanging out. What is that meta thing on her hand, by her fingers? Oh, it's funny, I noticed that a while ago, and I just didn't think to bring it up, because I really wasn't sure what it was. Um, but yeah, she has this weird metal thing. I think she you kills she's not part of the Assassin's Creed? Yeah, it's funny, she's we're gonna thinking stab same. you. She probably is. I have no interest in such menial labor. Apparently, I and mean, she probably out. is. She doesn't even, yeah, she doesn't even care about getting out. Screw that. Oh, I can go into the kitchen now. Jeez. Wow. That's that a, lot a lot of food. food. Yeah, why do we agree on that? Can I just steal it all? I want it. Colorful it vegetables have been stacked. To it. Yeah, I mean... Come on, I know it's an art style thing, but this doesn't even look passable. This looks like they took some uh, PNG images of vegetables and shoved them in the game. That'd be low quality ones. <laughs> yeah. Well, nice. at least I got a medal. I think for, I can get uh... money for looking at the really bad graphics. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Thanks, game. I love getting medals for looking at stuff I don't want to look at. Well, at least that looks a bit better. It's a deli-style display case, though the fish look weird to me. Actually, I guess it all looks weird. I don't know what the meat is above the fish. It's very... square meat. Yeah... SpongeBob square meat! Oh, that's that's, that, that's... Meat Boy. Yeah. Oh, true. It's all kinds of food and stuff lined up here. Man. Wow. This is going to be so much money. Yeah, they really like giving me money for examining the food. Uh, anything else around here to examine? No? Alright, I'll talk to you two then. I think this is the lowest quality room, graphic style-wise, we have been. Yeah, probably so. Something tells me that maybe it's not going to be that important. Or if it is going to be important, the vegetables, of course, will be like... Yeah, not that important. Because I got to the pants in the background, I took at them. Yeah, they're pretty flat. Like, those ones again are noticeably, they don't even look like they're... They're flat and look pixelated. Yeah, yeah. How do we get out of here? There's gotta be an exit somewhere. Um... Hey, did you find a way out of here? I didn't find a thing. Nothing. Zippo, zilch. Lost all my motivation. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> By looking in the kitchen, I saw. Are you? Are we becoming one? Uh, one? We keep saying the same thing. <laughs> I don't know. I I don't think we are. I think there's just so much to uh, say about this game about weird things like the graphics and stuff. But um, it's just hive mind. I was actually going to say that she, for being like a world-class athlete, she sure gets despaired uh, pretty easily. I guess then again, that probably comes with the territory of automatically being the best, as everyone here seems to be. I guess most of them probably aren't used to losing, maybe? Uh, so it's just a bit high school. Yeah. It's a clock telling me what time it is. Okay. Wait, what did he say? He said, I can't- wait. 
Yeah, yeah, you can't look at the stupid thing, but... Okay. You're right, I, what time it is, but I can't see outside, so I have no idea if it's even right. Wait, what's with that window, then? Is that I not know, outside? It's like, like, is this... Wait, is this not actually a window? Is it just fucking... A cardboard, like... Is it just painted on a wall? Yeah. That's the funny thing about this game's graphics. I can't even tell. Maybe that's supposed to be the idea. Is it's like supposed to be a, a painting but, like, or some that's kind the idea, of Why illusion? can't you investigate it? Because like that seems like a really important thing to know. Yeah, it does. I don't. I don't know why the game wouldn't let you investigate. With this game's art style, I can't tell if it's it a gotta fake be, wall or not. It gotta be painted wall because otherwise this game is just fucking just stupid. Yeah. Because it keeps, it, it, like, it has told us so many times we can't look outside, and all of that. Yeah, yeah, it has. And it, and it says it's daytime, and it doesn't really look like it's daytime out there. It's kind of dark. Also, what is very strange is can, you can see that the, um, whatever. Never mind. Okay, sorry. I just figured, uh, let's go ahead and keep going. I really want to find the store because I want to... Oh, wait. I, I bet it's that trash can. I, yes, I'm probably trash wrong. Can. The trash can is totally a store. That makes total sense. I mean, I don't I'm know. I'm <laughs> Is this just a store? It makes, as much it makes as much sense as anything else in this game. Oh, it's no. It... Yeah, that makes sense. I can't get inside. The gate's in the way. Oh, okay. What about this? There's a hatch on the floor. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Well, I mean, there is. You can see the lock. Yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. I figured it was locked. Awesome. Let's look at this low quality camera over here. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea of it existing, but, uh, whatever. Not this door. Oh, it's just leaving the area, sure. Well, I mean, I at least with the fact that the metals exist, I can say I'm not wasting my time even when I go into completely irrelevant rooms. Just, you know, getting money for existing stuff. Or, oh, I guess invest existing. Well, investigating more of, but, you know, it... it <laughs> I'll admit it doesn't exactly feel like I've worked very hard to earn many of these medals yet. I, I, I don't mind the way I get them, in theory. I'm just curious how much a medal is actually worth. This blackboard now belongs to us. Secret beauty. Okay. Did you like that? <laughs> yeah. Can't believe how bizarre Hope Speak Academy turned out to be. It's made me weak. It made me depressed. Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm glad we See, agreed. I'm telling you we're turning into <laughs> hive mind. Oh, it's fine. It's I'm sure it's just your imagination. Let's see anything else to look at. One of the monitors, it's showing the school crest. I don't even want to think right. about when he might show up next. Ugh. I feel like we've examined all the t possibilities in here. And sorry to anyone who's played the game, like, thoroughly and knows where all the medals are. I'm, I'm not using walkthrough, so we don't know where all the medals are, so, you know. Yeah, I probably should. I mean, I don't know if there's, uh... Wait, I, yeah, I was even already in here, so there's probably nothing in here now. That's when I first got here. The little pamphlet is still lying there. I have no desire to look at it ever again. I have Jeez. absolutely no desire. <laughs> yeah, he really does not like that pamphlet. Screw that pamphlet. Talk to you, though. I can't believe how pissed off I am right now. We should not talk to this guy. When are they gonna let us out of this hellhole? I wanna talk to the manager. Um... What? The manager of the school? Yeah, what manager? I didn't, know <laughs> I didn't either. Like, what kind of weird statement is that? Okay, this that is... has to be the, uh, store. No. 
No? This is a big bad room. Oh. I, I guess mean, that's why it's so huge it. and... Yeah. I was, I just, I saw the bear and I was like, oh, okay, the, the money, it has to be this room with money and store. I'm this is idiot. a stove, I think. Yeah, uh, I, I imagine so. It looks like it could be a store. I'm not sure yet, though. Um... Wait, there's a night? <laughs> Why does the Japanese don't even have fucking night armor like that? <laughs> I don't know, but I want it. Why don't we just steal that? Like, why don't we just steal all of this stuff? I mean, so there's nothing... Because it's against the Is it? No one's here to stop us, and it's not written in the rules, uh, currently that we can't steal everything. So why do they just have those boy thingies? Isn't that for, like, kids? I think that's actually how we buy stuff, though. Let's see. What's this? Oh, maybe if I turn the knob, a prize will come out. <laughs> Turns out you are actually a kid. Would you like to try your hand against the mighty, almighty Mono Mono Machine? Learn more about it. Uh, yeah. During your stay here at Hope's Peak Academy, you'll find coins scattered throughout the school. These Mono Coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. Okay. Are, 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 what? <laughs> what? I... That doesn't make any sense. They're valued by kings, huh? I think that's bullshit. You can use the handbook menu to see how many mono coins you currently have. And if you put the coins in this machine, there's a chance you can win a prize. The more coins you use, the better chance you have of getting something new. Alright. Uh... Wait, is there anything else I can use the money on? The game hasn't really established it. Yeah, I'll look around the room first before I do that. Like, what's up with this thing? A vending machine. I guess this must be the school store then. That's a whole, this, I mean, again, this might be just a Japanese thing, but I've never seen a school store before. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, maybe it's more... Admittedly, it might generally be more common in boarding schools, but, um... The... Only, I I've never seen a school store in high school, I can at least say. I actually have, uh, my college had a school store. The fuck they, did it sell? Uh, mostly books. They sold school books, and they stole, uh, treats. Like, you know, little, uh, packaged, um... I'm trying to think of the, the kind of... But you get the idea. Like, they'd sell little packaged donuts or uh, apple pies or, you know, all, all those little packaged cheapo uh, treats for students to buy. Fair enough. And this is definitely the school store, but it has a kind of Japanese slash Western blend. It seems more like a cluttered antique store. <laughs> nice! You made the observation that the school store doesn't look very good. How amazing. Dude, I, I wish I could walk into a store and get money for looking at the store <laughs> and then use the same money to buy from the store. <laughs> you know, I do too. I wish it I could just like walk around. sounds like a drug dealer scheme. Yeah. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Like, I feel... I, I, it's weird, there's a place is ultimate despair, but if it weren't for the fact that you couldn't leave and the whole killing people thing, this place would actually be a really nice school. You have a school store, you have, everyone has their own dormitory room, um, you have a really fancy bathroom, everything's just really nice, uh, except for the fact that we're locked here. I mean, well, I- It's a little bit of a, like, twisted thing, but yeah, I do get what you mean. I guess, I guess I get the so, idea, but even then I'm used to things being kind of crappy in, in settings like, the, you know, like, Corpse Party, course, there's no part of the, of the school that you would ever want to be in, you know? Well, unless you count that one stall with a fucking amazing ghost. <laughs> okay, yeah, that ghost was pretty cool. But aside from that, uh, you she know, never generally... did finish it. Um... They, the the corpse party extras in general. But oh, we didn't we didn't day. finish the corpse party. Okay, yeah. I was gonna say we did finish that extra, and it ends super depressingly. Even more depressing than when you don't do it. 
Yeah. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. Oh, wait, yeah. He just, he just really hates the thought of Monokuma existing. Which, if you, if you didn't, uh, see the comment, someone left a comment on Monokuma's name, um... What does it say? Uh, Mono is obviously stands one. for monochrome. Um, oh, okay, one. You know, so okay. black and white. And Kuma is the Japanese word for bear. So Monokuma is really literally named, where he's basically just named black and white bear. Sounds racist. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. What's this? So this oh. is pretty much just like this is an invasion of this is what happens when you have a kid from one white and one black parent. <laughs> you get Monokuma. I totally. That's how that works. Uh, I I was gonna say though, considering he seems to be like an explosive robot bear, I probably would have called him something like I don't know, self destruct death bear nine thousand. But that's this is was made by Americans. <laughs> huh? This is that would have been if it was made by Americans. Yeah, exactly. Also, I'm sorry, but like, with that knight in the background, his fucking ball plating. <laughs> Do you see that? What? It's just, it's just yeah. distracting me. You're you're saying you don't like his ball plating? You know, a, a knight has seems to protect very his. Strange. A knight has to protect his balls too, you know. But but doesn't the rest of the armor already cover that? Uh, you'd think so, admittedly. Let's see. Give it a shot. What what can we get from this stupid thing? Number of coins, ew. You should only put one because, it, yeah. because it's set. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we have no chance of getting repeat items when we don't have any items. Whoa! What the fuck, fuck is, is that? that? <laughs> See? Oh my god! Stop! <laughs> I refuse to stop. What, what else can we get? Flowers, I think. That's at least a little more recognizable. What, else, what, is, what do we got? What else? Okay, I don't know what that is. Uh, it took me three of them to actually be able to read what it says. <laughs> They, like, got an item? Like, I, I saw oh. they said what the item is, but no. <laughs> That's amusing, yeah, no. I, um, I, I noticed that immediately, because I assumed you said something like that. Yay! But what's because we're... an item, like, it, it, the lettering seems so close to each other that it, to me, it looked like one word. So, yeah. so I read God, and then wasn't able to read what the second half Fair was. enough. Whoa, is that a flashlight? It's nuts. Was not expecting that. I'll be honest. I mean, it gets lonely. Yeah, it gets lonely in a school like this. Man, did you I, just get the Necronomicon? I think so. That's my favorite book. It'll it'll probably be useful. Panties. So they're going just use all of them. You just got addicted. Yeah, I will. I want to get as many items as I can. I want to see what all I can. Ah, oh, cup of noodles. No yeah, we didn't need any repeats. See, that was a, a good use of my money. I should probably get going. <laughs> yeah. Alright, fair and enough. You the store and you walk away with none of your money left. Uh, so, I'm guessing these are all presents. Um, Sonic Cup A Noodle. Instant noodles. Fill it with boiling water. Red. Mmm. Water. I can't talk. <laughs> yes, boiling water, and it's ready in. You know, I can't. No. Right, I can't identify most of what's in there, but I am but impressed. Shrimp. It looks like there's yeah shrimp. I uh, can't See? say if I had a cup of noodles with shrimp in it. I never did either. Oh, so I was gonna say, it's not <laughs> very. It's shrimp and obviously Sonic. <laughs> That's the meat. The meat is Sonic meat. Oh, what a, what a twist! Emperor's. Thong. Designed solely for those in control of their buttocks. Cool. How do you read more of it? Because the text keeps going. 
Oh, okay. For better or worse, it's unisex. Okay. Sam can wear the Emperor's So I guess thong. you can give that to the guy who gets mad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll love it. Oh, and it's ready in three seconds. Of course, it also goes bad in, like, 30. Okay, Second for one... Sonic. That's, 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 that is it... the equity to Sonic. <laughs> True. That is a really good Sonic description. Bravo game. Cherry Blossom Bouquet. A collection of branches from a soccer tree in the language of flowers. Cherry blossoms represent a woman's superior beauty. Okay. So obviously we're going to want to give this to uh, the fan fiction writer. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure you would like it. Uh, whoa, a thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released? That's it not even possible. <laughs> I don't even would have that knowledge. Yeah, I guess so. I <laughs> must have for any true gaming fanatic. Yeah, I'll... Man, that is fun. Yeah. Also, I love its names. Tips and Tips. No tricks, it's just tips. It's all tips. See. The branch from a sasak uh no a sakaki tree commonly used in Shinto rituals. It serves as a connection between humans and the gods. Cool. Can you call upon the god to just let you get the fuck out of you? Yeah, I'd like that. This looks weird. A unique type of flute. You pour water into the base and blow into the top, which can create a variety of sounds similar to a chirping bird. Can't say I've heard of that before. I actually have. Oh, alright. What the fuck is this? <sighs> yeah, this thing is horrifying looking. Made from seeds and coconuts fiber. I don't believe that. It, it, made from seeds and coconuts fiber. I think it's made from people's souls. Look at these tortured, evil things. The souls are not physical or anything. So yes, it's made up from seeds, coconut fiber, and a little bit of soil. All right. <laughs> Fair you don't enough. have to put that in the ingredients description because it's not an ingredient. Yeah, yeah, I get ya. <laughs> These are used in Buddhist prayers. You determine your wish based on how you position the arms and legs. Okay. Fla fleshlight. Common wisdom might make you think that shining this light on you will turn you small. But nope, it's just that the light itself is about the size of a matchbox. Why would I ever think that flashing the light on myself would make me small? And wouldn't that just make it... Is this a translation thing? Because I don't know if that's coming from. I don't know. It sounds like it, it's... It sounds like they assumed we're thinking of some kind of superhero thing. We're like, ah, oh, we got this flashlight. We can shine it on things to make them small. And if I thought that, I think we'd have a really easy way to get out of here. Would okay, we? Because so there's still no exit. Well, we could turn the door really small. The the vault door. Right, okay, so it would only work on the outside. Well, I, that's what I mean. I don't really know the I intent behind the um you know, the phrasing there. Either way, jump into this and you'll feel like you can support the world. It resembles some kind of Yeti creature. See it's another one I don't get it. it it has to be a cultural thing, because I was- I saw it and I was like, oh, it's probably like Red Riding Hood, some kind of weird thing, but- To, to me, it looks like it's covered in fucking blood. <laughs> Maybe that's Because, too. like, it's not just red, like, you can see, like, lines of yeah. it, like, dripping downward. Yeah, I mean, at least this one, I feel like this is probably an anime reference, but I have no idea. Oh, School Crest. Proof that you've cleared the prologue. Oh, wait, I think I already looked at that, yeah. Alright. Okay, I well, guess that at least now we know that those 114 are not all achievements. Yeah, they're actually pretty easy to obtain items. Really, really, uh, the last few are probably the only ones that'll get hard to obtain when, you know, you have to pump a lot of quarters into the machine. Oh, hey, crazy hair guy, and that's right, mm. this room. Kind of busy here, man, looking for an exit. 
Did that sound convincing? I'm totally just slacking off. I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. Yeah, Thanks. I kind of don't want him to die. <laughs> he seems fun. He does? I don't know. <laughs> it seems really lazy to me. Yeah, I know, but he's like our, com com he's our comic relief. Fair enough. The door won't budge. It must be locked. More bathrooms. These ones are kind of cool. Oh, this, this bathroom's a lot less nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, this bathroom is super ugly looking. I don't know. I, I feel like my, my, whatever his name is painted this one. <laughs> Probably. There's just all kind of gross clashing colors and I can't find any metals. I'm just gonna get out of here. Screw that. First floor. Run! <laughs> Startled you. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> Why did that startle you? Because I thought you turned around 180 degrees, so... Wait, wait, oh. how did you turn? I'm confused now. I I just went around the corner. I kept going and I turned... I didn't see the corner. Yeah, see, there's a corner here, and I went around and turned here. Okay. But he, I mean, he's I... starting. He's probably gonna kill someone. Yeah, I mean, I once again, I am crotch height with him, so I guess that's kind of scary. Hello there. Listen, who are you again? I apologize for my poor memory. It's just so hard to remember things I don't care about. Thanks. Oh, man. So, let me go back to crotch height now. Goodbye. Yeah. I will make you care about me when I... When I transform into crotch height. Ah, uh, totally. Let's see. So what's in here? Okay, we haven't checked here. The, uh... Balls. <laughs> yes, we haven't checked the balls. Clearly the most important items. They're so important we can't look at them. Why, Why are there just balls scat? Yeah, I don't know. See? Still happening. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, I play, I've learned just how weird this game is. It's hard not to react to things like like this. Right, right. Not to, not to react. It's, it's hard not to react to things like balls. I mean, it, 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 that's true statement. I think most people at bear. least have some reaction to balls. Is it what a bear wear? It, it looks like a bear tree. Like, the tree looks like a bear. Oh, and I actually see it. <laughs> yeah, it does kind of look like a weird bear. I wonder if that's on purpose. I or... feel like it is because that eye feels like it really is placed there. Yeah, the eye and the way the... Um... Oh. Paw is, is uh, colored. Looks so it's just it's, it's a bear version of Fluttershy. Ah, <laughs> uh, I really want to smash that camera, but if I break it, Monokuma will break me. What? Uh, when did he ever show the ability that he has the ability to do that? I mean, what? So I'll just have to try and ignore it. I mean, everyone acts like Monokuma is a really deadly threat, and he just. It's so weird to me, because he hasn't proved that yet. Well, you he know... didn't show up in your room out of fucking nowhere, that just closes like to it. Yeah, I was gonna okay. say, I mean, like, can't you guys, can't you just agree with someone else to play dodgeball and miss, and then hit the camera accidentally? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. What if you accidentally break the cameras and stuff? Couldn't you just be like, oh, well, yeah, I was playing dodgeball, I missed, whoops, I accidentally slipped with my mouse and got all dizzy. Sorry about that. Alright, looks like it's time to head back to my room. Yeah, I, I forget- room. Oh, right, not my room. It's time to go talk to my lady friend, and, um... That'll probably end be the end-off. Huh? And end the part. Oh, wait, are we gonna talk to her before or after we end the part? No, it's her before. I mean, we end it before we talk to her. There, that way. Okay. Yes, I that's amazing. Yeah, it's even crazier on that fucking map. Yeah. Okay, where the, where the heck is it? She was one room beside yours. Oh, whoops. I just can't even tell by these little icons, but yeah, I guess I should have. There she is. Hi, Sakya. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope uh, you all enjoyed our gift opening time. Yay. I'm sure you always wanted to know about Super Sonic Noodles. And see you guys next time.